Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with AA Shaves and I am back again. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, for being here and for supporting me. I know we're all busy, so the fact that you come take time to check out my content really means a lot. So I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you for being here. Um, it's been a, been a little bit since I've done a shave. You know, the usual stuff, work's been crazy. Um, my fiance and I, we've been busy planning our wedding which is happening on October 3rd. We're actually eloping in Colorado. So we've been busy with uh, doing everything with that, which I'm really excited about. So that's been coming up. Um, but I'm really happy to be back in my shaved den doing my thing. So here I am ready to do a shave today. So let's get into the gear. So soap for today a sadly discontinued artisan that is no longer around um and it's a bummer i wish i bought more of their soap i only have one of their soaps but i only have one of them and i wish i bought more when i could but <sighs> bummer man all right so we got lather bros takeout night really awesome label here with the chinese food um, and everything. I just, yeah, I really, I just really love this. I've had this one for quite a while, man. I, I probably got this back in like 2018 or 2019. Um, it's probably one of my oldest soaps in my den. Um, but yeah, really, really cool label there. I remember seeing this back in the day, uh, on their website. I just remember seeing it and I just really wanted I just thought it, I just loved the creativity behind it. I was like, wait, takeout night. Like, what does that smell like Chinese food? Um, it just really got my curiosity. So I guess that's kind of why I uh, went ahead and snatched it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just so funny how they associate it with food. I guess back then I wasn't as well versed on gourmands. So um, I was like, yeah, like it smells like Chinese food. I want that. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the soap here. So look at that, man. This looks like World War III. I just have annihilated this thing. You can see the bottom. Uh, it's like tub lathered over here. And then it's like I scoop some over here. Like once I got into bowl lathering, you can just really see the age in this tub. <laughs> um, and it's kind of funny. So I haven't really used the soap in a while, but right before I did this shave, I was kind of... I was trying to look for the ingredients on the jar and uh turns out they're underneath the cap <laughs> which is sort of funny i don't know if any other artisans do that but um yeah so i think this is kind of like a mixture of a like it's got coconut oil but also i think it's got some tallow in there so i think it's like a mixture but um, it's a really good soap base, um, even though this is my only soap from Lather Bros. Um, this is a good one. I always really liked how this one performed. And as we all know, you know, we've all, for a lot of us who have been in this hobby for a while, like, you know, 95% of shave soaps, they're going to get the job done well. So, um, but yeah, I've had good experiences with uh, takeout nights. So, all right, after shave here, you can see I ran it down a little bit. Uh, I think I, yeah, didn't run it down quite as much as some of my other aftershaves. It was never, it was never really my favorite scent in the world. It's a good scent. It's not one of my favorites, but I guess, um, but you know, still ran it down pretty decent amount there. So we got that. And I got a lot of growth today. So we are going with the... <laughs> The Mule R41, I've been really, I think this is gonna be my third time on camera using this. I really have been enjoying this razor. I have coarse hair and I love aggressive razors. And I think this is like the most aggressive double-edged safety razor on the market. And it shaves great. I, I know a lot of people are afraid of this razor, but I love how it shaves me. It's really efficient. In the last couple shaves I had with it, it cut me up a little bit on the neck, but not enough where I really worry about it. But yeah, going with the Mula R41 and then handle the Edwin Jagger 
DE86. This is the rubber version. Love the grip. This thing is awesome. It won't slide out of your hand. All right, blade for today. We are going with a Treat 7 Days. Haven't used this one in a while. I do like the Treat Classics, though. These ones are also made in Pakistan, just like the normal Treat ones. Um, I don't really remember how these perform. If anyone else really is a fan of these blades, let me know what you think of them. I think I only used them one time, and I remember them being pretty good, so. All right, moving on. The brush had to go with the Yaki Panda 24 millimeter. I absolutely love Yaki Synthetics. If anyone else likes the Yaki Synthetic brushes, let me know. They're my favorite synthetic brushes. The price to performance ratio, I feel like, is great. I never lose bristles from them, and all of them were like 20 bucks, and I consider them just like the best 20 bucks I ever spent. They're just, these things are just awesome. I absolutely love these. Look at that cute little panda on there. Um, yeah, another YouTuber I watch, his name is Hoon Shaver. He makes really good videos. He's out of South Korea, and I saw him use this panda brush back in the day on his channel, and I just immediately wanted it. So, <laughs> yeah, I love this thing. And we got the Takeout Night whipped up here in my Pereira Shave Bowl. Look at that nice lather. Beautiful, beautiful lather today. Got some nice hydration in there. I did add a, look at that, <laughs> looks like an ice cream cone. I did add a quite a bit of water in this one. Um, it's able to take a lot of water though. It's, uh, again, this is a tallow and coconut oil. I think, yeah, I think it's like a, it's, yeah, coconut oil and tallow combined base. It's a really good soap base. Um, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, so this is probably gonna be shaving pretty good today. All right, and let's go ahead and wet the face here. Hope everyone is doing well. It's getting warm here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Um, was not able to make the Maggard meetup. I wanted to be there, but sadly I could not. Hopefully I can make it next year. Um, but I really enjoyed seeing everyone's post from there. It's really wholesome. Um, and I did my first ever Instagram live shave with the the Shave Migos. Um, I'll be sure to link to that in my description if you guys want to see that. Um, yeah, that's that's run by Soli Cortez, which he also makes good YouTube videos, so I'll link to that as well. Um, John Bonham from Cape Cod Wet Shaving joined us as well, which was great. Um, and then Carlos from Shave on Gent was also in there with us. And it was just a really, really darn good time. And I'm really looking forward to my next live shave. So finally got around to doing the lives and I had a really good time. So yeah, if any of you guys uh, watch this who were in the live, yeah, thank you for uh, having me on. It was a really darn good time. All right, so. Lather's looking nice for the Lather Bros takeout night. Yeah, so a lot of artisans have been leaving the space lately, which is really sad. Um, you know, I'm not, I didn't really look up into why Lather Bros left. I guess, my guess is I get, you know, they probably just, maybe a lot of people weren't buying their soaps. They were always a small artisan. Um, and this is the only soap I have from them. and. I really wish I bought more because there were more on my list and I should have gotten them because now Lather Bros is gone. Uh, you can't even go to their website anymore. When you try to click on their site, there's just nothing on there. Um, and it, yeah, it just sucks. I really, I really wish I bought more of their stuff, but I think the best thing we can do now as a community is, um, you know, I wasn't going to keep them alive alone. I think the best thing we could do now is get as many new people into the hobby as we can to keep, you know, some more artisans alive, specifically the smaller ones. Um, get the mustache here. 
But yeah. They were a hard one to see go because they just had, they were out of Miami, Florida, and they just had, I just loved their theme. They had this really original theme where all of their, um, all of their soap labels and all of their scents kind of had like a Miami type vibe. Even this one, Takeout Night, you know, there's a lot of Chinese takeout in Miami, and even this one sort of has like a, a Miami type vibe. Um, yeah, they had another one called like Miami Mojito. Never smelled that one, but I guess that, that probably smells great. I love mojitos. Um, they had another one called Everglades, again, with the South Florida theme. I just really, their theme and their artwork was just really on point. Um, yeah, Mule R, got a lot of blade feel on the R41 here. Yeah, their whole theme was just like really on point. Uh, the South Florida theme and all the scents to match. And I just really like when artisans have a cool theme like that. Um, and they also seemed like an artisan that was, they were more about quality than quantity. Get a little more lather up here. Yeah, they had another one I've been want, I wanted to smell. It's called, um, I think a couple soap retailers still have some of their soaps, but I guarantee you most of their soap you probably can't find right now, so sadly. Um, yeah, they had another one called Cali Ocho, which is looked really cool. It's That was like cigar tobacco, guava, papaya. But yeah, just really, really cool South Florida theme. And I really dug their artwork and everything and their theme. And it's just really hard to see them go. And man, this, uh, I think I, I had like a week and a half of growth, if I were to guess. And the, the R41 is just taking it down, no problem. No problem at all. Just this razor is absolutely, the efficiency level is just amazing. And yeah, I am kind of a slow shaver. I know a lot of people like to go fast, but you know what? I'm in the hobby for comfort. I'm not in it for speed, so. Yeah, so Takeout Night. So this is a very interesting soap. So again, when I first saw this back in the day, I was like, oh, I like Chinese food. I want a soap that smells like Chinese food. So I just love the creativity behind it. So I had to snag it. And when I first got it, I was kind of surprised. So, so the notes in here are sweet chili, ginger, and lemongrass. And there's also fig, and for whatever reason, they didn't list fig on the jar. I, I don't know why, but I can hear the R41. Uh, you can hear it taking down the mustache here. Man, the blade feel on this razor is just crazy. So yeah, not sure why they didn't, they didn't list fig on the jar, but um, so I guess I was kind of expecting it to have more of like the the sweet chili type note. I guess because I thought it was gonna smell more like Chinese food. or Chinese takeout food. Um, man, this razor's crazy. Cause I've always been a fan of Chinese food ever since I was a kid. Really liked uh, Asian cuisine. All 
All right, good first pass. It's crazy. It took down like so much of the hair, even on just one pass. Um, yeah, General Chow's chicken, egg rolls, you name it. He's always a huge fan of Chinese takeout. So that's why I wanted the soap, but when I first cracked it open, the, um, the ginger and the lemongrass are pretty heavy in it. Like all I, all I really get from, like when I first open it up, all I really get is the, mainly the lemongrass with some of the ginger behind it. I think they, I think in a lot of citrus scents, the citrus notes are really dominant. Um, Yeah, I got a lot of growth. I missed a lot on that pass, but I'll attack it on the, the next one. I'm just gonna do an against the grain pass here. I never do the across pass anymore. I don't really feel the need for it. I get great shaves with just with and against. Um But yeah, it's it's very heavy in the ginger and lemongrass. It's not it's not my favorite scent, but it's not it's not a bad scent. Um, you know, I think it's a good scent. It's, a lot of people would consider it a good summer scent, especially if you're into lemon. Um, I'm not the biggest citrus head, so this isn't one of my favorites. But you know, it's not a bad scent. It's a good one for the summer, and I appreciate the creativity behind it. Um, Yeah, I love seeing all the creativity that artisans come up with in this hobby. It's just really cool with their scents and everything. Um, so the sweet chili is, you can pick up a little bit of it in the background. Like there is kind of some sweetness in there. Like the sweet chili and the fig, they sort of, they do a sort of a good job of rounding out the strength of the lemongrass and the ginger. Um, so, you know, nice, fun scent for the summer. Not one of my favorite scents, but not a bad scent. Certainly not a bad scent. Yeah, I do think it is a little unusual that they associate it with Chinese food. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many Asian food dishes there are where they're like soup that, that heavy on the, the lemongrass and the ginger, but. Um, <laughs> God, the blade feel on this razor is just so intense. Like it's. Crazy. But, yeah. But darn, it does a good job. I mean, oof. Yeah, very interesting scent for sure. Very interesting. So mainly the... Mainly the lemongrass and ginger. It's very lemony type scent. So if you're into lemon, this is a good one. It's kind of funny explaining this because it's like, I don't even think it's available anymore anywhere. So, um, so I guess for those of you who want to buy it, I guess, unless it's on some retailer site somewhere, you might be out of luck, but, um, but I do appreciate the creativity behind this the brand and the scent and everything. And, But yeah, really wish I bought more Lada Bros soaps back when they were up, you know, I could have helped them out. But again, I don't think I could have done it alone. I think the best thing we can do now is kind of get more people into the hobby. So there's a lot of artisans out there that need our help. So.
And yeah, anyone else who has takeout night who's ever smelled this one, um, I would love to know your thoughts. I don't think I ever talked to anyone who also had this scent. But it is a very... Very interesting scent. And very heavy on the lemongrass. Doesn't really remind me of, like if you were to not show me the label and just had me smell it, Chinese food would not be the first thing I think of. But also if you had a soap that smelled like Chinese food, it probably wouldn't, I would like the scent because I'm weird like that, but a lot of people wouldn't want to like wear an aftershave that smells like Chinese food. Yeah, I think at one point uh, PAA had a, they had a scent called Rocket Ramen. I'd be curious to smell that one. If anyone has ever smelled that one, let me know. Wow, so really phenomenal shave with the, uh, the Takeout Night and the Mule R41. Really nice post-shave feel on this soap babe. Um, yeah, man. Sucks they're gone. It really sucks. Ugh. It's funny, like, I don't really, I don't want to use this soap you know since it since the brand's gone but i'm also just i'm not gonna let it sit there you know i think uh shake up the aftershave you, know, you got to use it at some point yeah so the splash is very heavy on the lemongrass and ginger very very lemony but i think if i remember correctly on the dry down you get more of the sweet chili and the fig which i like which is my favorite part of the scent so Yeah, nice, nice summer scent, you know. Ah, oh, very nice. All right. Wasn't expecting a Nick Free shave with the Mula R41, but um, somehow it happened. So, yeah, and Gillette Seven Days, this did a good job. If anyone else has ever used this, uh, let me know. It's a good blade. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the dry down on this smells. It's kind of, aftershaves always work in a funny way like that. All right, guys. Well, that concludes my Lather Bros takeout night shave for today. Sucks to see that they're gone. Um, if anyone else has, has any Lather Bros soap or has any thoughts on the brand or anything, as usual, I would love to hear it. So. Again, thank you for watching my shave and being here. I truly appreciate your time and each and every one of you. And I hope everyone has a great day. So. Take